Sarah's getting ready to reopen after having to close back in March. She's kept busy by doing online deliveries. Under new rules, though, fewer people will be allowed in the shop at a time. She recently lost her own father to coronavirus, so wants things to run smoothly and safely. We've done a risk assessment, uh, evaluated everything. We're putting um, distance stickers on the floor. Um, we're making sure people use hand sanitizer before they come in um, and when they leave, really, as well. Uh, and then we're doing contactless, if possible, um, cleaning all the sides down, thoroughly cleaning morning and night. These are challenging times for retailers opening their doors for the first time in 12 weeks. The period saw the sharpest drop in shoppers in Britain's towns and cities ever, and it's likely some businesses will never reopen again. From the early days of the wool industry to now, clothing has been big business for Britain. The fashion industry is worth $44 billion a year to the UK economy, and it employs 890,000 people, so there's a lot at stake. We need to reset. At this time of year, people in the business are often looking to London Fashion Week to help plan ahead. It's had to go digital because of the coronavirus pandemic. According to many analysts, we're going to see a contraction of 35% in the luxury industry. And what we're seeing for um, the high street, but also for designers, are uh, acceleration of what was happening uh, before. There is a move to online stores need to be experiential. They need to bring something more to the equation. Designers are used to setting trends and working in a world of reinvention. Adeline Lee, who designs high quality women's wear, has, along with a team of volunteers, been making thousands of masks for key workers. She told us the whole industry faces challenges in the coming months. I don't think the core of the brand will change, um, but obviously our externals have changed. Um, many of our stores are only just starting to open up now, so they've been closed for a while, um, which means that the seasonal nature of it is going to be off kilter. Um, we have a lot of stores that are moving their seasons one season over, so that what was supposed to have been delivered a month ago will come into the stores as they open up now. Back in Stamford, Sarah's feeling hopeful that her customers will come back, determined that her business won't be a casualty of this pandemic. Emma Hayward, Al Jazeera, Stamford.